Just play my 25 minute game. As anonymous, we'll see what these players have got to give to us. You never know who you're playing. Never know what level it is or anything like that. So that's um, one of the reasons why I play against the anonymous. No expectations, you just play your game, play the board. safety capture that's pretty straightforward first find something to attack and if we can't attack, let's take up the slack. Let's go here, take up some slack. Find something to attack. Queen's on a white square, we've got a white square, bishop can't get to it. Let's just, uh, actually I'm going to bring it here. You know I've got sights of coming here for a potential here, but supporting may drop, but we can take. Okay, let's continue with that movement here. It's probably less painful, isn't it, if he does drop? So we just go for the bishop. Let's go for the rook. And is he jumped into anything? Is his queen going to get trapped? No, no, no. Let's take the rook. Could bring the bishop here. Uh, he's blocked it. Okay, so we could go for the bishop again. Bishop takes. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we could come into the center. Let's go into the center. I think the knight's done a good enough job. Let's just capture. Something to attack. If not, take up the slack. Something to attack. Something to attack. Rook attacking the pawn. Need to give them something to think about. Queen coming back. Attacking this pawn. It's opening up space, isn't it? Let's get the queen into the game. It's going to maybe get his king here. What's he seen? Do, 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 do. What has he seen? He moved there dead quick, didn't he? Because he's, um, he's given up this pawn, hasn't he? Oh no, he's not. He's just going to drop the pawn to support. Then the queen can come here, just attacking the bishop. Something to attack. Uh, oh, what was that? that? That's probably a mouse slip because it's probably meant to go there. So we'll take. Just gonna take now. Uh, maybe not. Let's attack. Something to attack. 
hearing something to attack. I don't know why it's square, bishop, no, nope. not yet, not yet, not yet. Let's just keep it simple. It's hiding away into the little corner. Let's just bring this here. It's hiding away. could go there but it's just gonna move here so let's go here attack the bishop bishop's mode is on our rook gotta be steady so just bring this rook here Check, check, checks. Oh, bring this rook to the side. Looking to go there, see if we can get his rook off. that they've gone into the tank or we'll pause for a second so it looks like the opponent left the game shifty at the analysis on that okay see if there's any major dips as usual Okay, so nice steady opening. A um, little bit strong for us there, actually, isn't it? Okay, so we attack the queen. So at this point now, whether or not we took advantage or not of this massive, um, excuse me, off here, massive score. I don't think we did. Yeah. So we went and castled. What's it saying? What should we have done? Maybe just taken the knight off the board. Something. Uh, it's not even saying that, so is it the knight? Knight can't go there. Ooh, bishop. No. Well, it's not immediately obvious to me, so I think castling is okay. They captured. Captured. Okay, so we're still an advantage. We've not lost anything at the minute. It's really showing this high thing here. There's something that needed to be done up here, but the knight's not supported by anything, so it's definitely not a knight thing. Is it the queen coming here? Mm, well, it doesn't dislike it. No, I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. So put the pressure with the bishop and then at this point, or maybe it was the bishop earlier, I don't think the bishop had sight though, nah the bishop went out then so couldn't have done that. So brought the bishop through looking to attack the rook, grab the rook, took with the knight so that was all pretty straightforward. And it's uh, looking at appropriate positions. And basically we wanted things to attack, we were looking for things to attack, but if we couldn't then we'd just take up the slack on things that were either unsupported in our side, 
or things that were unsupported in theirs and putting pressure on their area. Um, I don't know, I think this might have been a mouse slip because his queen went to here. Maybe he was coming to protect the bishop. So now we can just look to trade down things to attack. Get a nice position. Get ready to block out the king. So working the pieces together as a team. And then the opponent left the game. So interesting continuation there. Again, teamwork is key. Working the pieces together. Um, as you can see, we've got the rooks already there. The bishop's already lined up, ready for an attack. This bishop now is ready to be taking this pawn here. So it, it all works out quite nicely. Okay, anonymous hour. It's a three minute game this one. Although I would have expected it to have started by now. It doesn't look like the opponent is starting the game. Nope. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh dear. Okay, next one. Is this the same person? No, okay, let's go. Three minutes zero. Hmm, oh, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, come on, think, think, think. the heck is happening here? It's all going crazy.
yes, we'll claim the draw. <laughs> uh, we're not really blitzy type people, are we? So we'll take a draw, we'll take what we can. Excellent. Yeah, that was pretty tense, but positional play helped us out here. Um, the opponent definitely thought they had the closure of our king, but if you move your king into the right position, you're fairly safe when it comes to that, if you've got space. Worst thing would be to put it here, and then obviously he would just come and get checkmate with the rook. So, so long as you can bounce between the two, you're okay. And also we have the threat basically of Kruik queening with a check on his king. So he didn't want to lose tempo in that sense. So interesting game. Blitz, really and truly, <laughs> is a little bit hard, but positional play sometimes does help you.
nice win on time there. Nice position as well. Bishop's going to be attacking the king. Could take, then he moves. Uh, let's go here. Might lose out on tempo or something. Fancy tactics. Let's grab here. Bishop, bishop's down, I'll jump in. Stack is. He's gonna drop the pawn. Oh, he's not. Hey! We got lucky there. with the rook <laughs> it's time on our side.
times on our side again. Nice position again. Hmm, okay. Oh, 15 minute game in the anonymous hour. if a rook comes behind here we could potentially attack the bishop here if the bishop takes then we get the rooks off the board so they're not going to fall for that okay so he's moved it out of the way potentially because he's seen that uh, continuation and so now he's definitely just protecting there so we're going to grab here we, he's going to get this pawn with his rooks so we could just move a little bit over which is going to be best for us. Attacking the queen. Let's take the queen off the board. Let's take this pawn. Let's take this pawn. Looks like we're in a bit of a trouble there. We move too fast. Ah. We go there. He just drops this rook down. Oh, dear me, it's going to hurt. Nothing else to do. Uh, they've resigned because they know they've won. Damn. How could we fall for that? We moved too fast. Felt like I was building up a, a big attack, but it wasn't a big attack at all. Well, where's the gauge bar? Why are showing black as winning? Oh. Shame. Oh, we're winning then. <coughs> I don't see it. Minus 3.2. Hmm. Oh, I could have just hidden the rook here. There's me thinking I have to exchange.
a move order thing there. I could see where they were coming from, but it was a bit too fancy and arty. Maybe they're going to resign now, I think, just from that. just going to let the time run out so we'll pause so the opponent left the game five, five minute game in the anonymous hour
So if there's anything they can do in this situation.
Fast forward to it back. Should take the time. It's a 20, 25 minute game. Oh, and then resigned. something to attack or take up the slack. I'm quite liking that scene. Coming close to the end of the anonymous anonymous session. Nearly completed the hour. Some interesting games we've been having so far. Let's castle here. I think the Queen really has come for this pawn because he wants my bishop to get activated. So while he's over there, Is he going queenside castling all that way over there? He's already got a position for the Fianchetto, so I think he's Fianchetto in and kingside castling. But his queen is on the other side of the board. He's not castled as yet, so it looks like he's preparing to defend his queenside castling. X-ray through. 
Queen's wanting to get here anyway because he wants to take this pawn like we said it's been waiting there for ages it's not doing that just yet let's take because we have a next way through to the Queen and it looks like they've left their Queen free to take they're probably going to resign now I thought they were playing OK up until that point and they didn't see the X-ray. Hmm. That's a shame. But it doesn't mean you've won the game just because you've won the Queen. We always say this. But we will pause this one because it's probably going to resign. Oh, it's not. Hey, he's playing on. Brilliant. Okay, so it's taking this pawn with a check on our queen, so we'll take this knight in the meantime. Always got to look for the follow ones, so now we can take this pawn. So if we come here. this palm on the rook it's not going to find much safe safety coming here because we have the bishop but kudos for playing on and looks like they've left the game <laughs> haven't said that now five four three two one Okay, I think we have time for one more, yeah. Okay, I think this should be the last game for the hour-long anonymous session. <laughs> Queen is a little bit stuck in the middle here, isn't it? Let's go. to attack really though so I don't want to get my rocks trapped that's defended it's attacking here bishop's having to defend the yeah, AC look nice attacking quick take but his knight is protecting oh, do, do, let's come back So he's just he's not too sure what to do at the minute. Or maybe he's going kingside castling, that's why he's moved back again. Um, so my eyes keep getting drawn to take in here, but it's not can take. Right, what 
can this bishop do? What can this knight do? Nothing. Knight square bishop. Do, 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 do. Nothing. Is it a pawn move, a king move? Wow, isn't that weird? Are we just pushing here then? Let's just push here for now. This looks like one of those sit and wait to see what the opponent does. Mm. Knight takes pawn takes bishop takes bishop bishop's on the knight. And his bishop just goes back to defend. Yeah, that's not gonna be too clever. Go push here, <coughs> he pushes down. Then where does my knight go? Should I move the knight anyway? Yeah, let's move the knight anyway. We don't have anything else to do on that. seen it so maybe that's a blessing um, am I just gonna block everything down here I'm just gonna bl block it down that was a missed opportunity there by the opponent actually there might be a method in the madness though so never discount the moves that the opponent makes okay She's wanted to go and castle. So I'm actually going to attack this pawn now. Something to attack, something to do. I'm not expecting him to take actually, so we'll end up pushing here. So it's locking down that area. And he's got his knight coming to attack our bishop here. Ooh, he's not done any of that. So we can take his pawn takes. Mm -mm. Or we can push past, but yeah, and the bishop's protecting the ball. Steady suffocation. Let's go with that. Bishop's protecting the pawn. brief moment I was thinking of like it's managing the square key square so the opponent doesn't know what to do with themselves like we don't you know it's like well it's a bit tense here what do you actually do what moves do you make uh, so I was thinking of pushing here if he takes then we take with the pawn I'm actually going to do that just to see what happens on this side first before we start hitting the king area He'll be happy because he's uh, going to have a file there, but we can always bring our rook across. He's locked it down, yes! Fantastic, so our knight can start coming here, defending this pawn again. Let's do that. So now we can try and focus if we can, if we can get the attack going here. He's actually attacking himself, so that's going to free up and open up that space for us there towards the king. Nice one, okay. So I can envisage that he's going to start mobilizing his pieces. So we need to see. He's got two on one there, he's still got the bishop protecting. Well, he's moved his rook away from his king, but he's, I think he's looking at well, supporting that pawn. But we need to get 
our pieces across which is going to be best bishop first where is there to go yeah bishop first because then we're attacking the knight aren't we makes it look like we're focusing on this area and we can also come here bishop then has to come back here or the rook comes down to protect but then it gets taken by the pawn so he's moved so we can bring the rook here like we said to attack this where his bishop obviously comes there <coughs> something to attack something to do you can always block it with that but try to be proactive following the plan that we said once this is locked down see if we can start attacking the king area yeah it's blocked it down so i'm actually just going to continue attacking because it's like going towards the king area that is the answer process if we can get an opening in then hopefully we'll try and take some disadvantage Bishop still protecting here. He takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes. A little bit of a hole in front of the king, nothing major. Well, this is a nice one to finish the um, anonymous owl on. Okay, so we did say knight was going to take. Am I changing my mind? No, I'm going to go with the knight because we're attacking the knight again here. Plus, making a little bit of a hole towards the king. So it's a bit twofold. So, hopefully, fingers crossed it works out for us. He might be a little bit risk reverse, risk averse now. He might not want to take. Now we've seen all these holes developing. But if he doesn't, we win the tempo and we actually win the knight because the bishop. Ah, right. So he wants to save. What do we have? He's got two on one protection, don't forget. And Rook can now attack the bishop and the pawn. Got to make sure. Oh, what is that all about? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, looks like a simple capture, doesn't it? Could always attack his rook here, and his rook takes, and then the rook takes. And we're still owning the file per se. Well, we're still owning it, I suppose. Here, it's just that I'm. Um, bringing the knight back into the game when I take here mm -hmm. <laughs> don't think I can find a way through can I she's a bit annoying come in here don't really like bringing pieces into the game if you can help it because his knight's, knight's nicely jammed in there and it's blocked off from his with his rook he can always come back here again but there's no rush on that side is there so our rook in essence isn't really doing any it's all in the file but there's nothing meaty yeah so he's moved the knight so now he's um, willing to give the knight up with the space in front of the king we don't have to take because we've got support with the pawn with the bishop um, looks like it could be drawish you know I mean I probably would favor having the knights I mean he's got the two bishops there and they're all jammed in at the minute so that's like a plus for us isn't it whereas the knights can jump around 
So if I take his knight off the board, then I lose my knight, and then he opens up his bishop, which is going to be starting to attack this pawn here. I think that's more probably why I'm going to leave it. There's nothing much to do. I think it's a rook move, isn't it? I think it's just a simple rook move. I'm just doing that. Don't want to, like I said before, don't really want to open up pieces for them. Like the knights, you know, I didn't want the knight starting to play. So we didn't go for that. So the more I can keep them jammed in as best possible, I can get a draw or um, get a bit of an advantage. But this looks a real, this is really tight. I, they might actually, they've got like this sort of stuff. Um, hmm. We'll see how it pans out. They might be getting fed up now and they might just take the knight with the knight. He doesn't really want to because he wants to open up his bishop. But I don't want that to happen as I mentioned. He might go with his bishop as well here, attacking the knight. Getting it into the... Oh my, that's the pawn move that we said with the... Got that. <laughs> how weird is that? Okay, so we could bring the knight here with a check on the king. I don't think the bishop's going to take, but if they did, then we'd be able to take with the rook. And then his pawn takes, and then the knight takes. I'm going to try it, but I don't think he's going to take with the bishop. It looks like he's all precious. Takes okay. Takes now. Pawn's got a nice got a nice position outpost here if it happens. So at the moment the two pieces that wanted to be in the game the rook and the knight we've not allowed them to get in the game on the opponent's terms anyway so currently that doesn't feel too bad but uh, okay yep yeah, so he's taken so we've got the outpost thing here if we're allowed to but i think he may actually go for a rook exchange might Ooh, interesting times But then it could be a draw what's this knight move oh is he blocking my attempt yeah so but then the pawn will be on the rook won't it oh should I risk it for a biscuit he's actually on my pawn here that's why let's go with the knight he's not got a check on our king so I suppose I'm and then he's got a passer, my bishop's blocking at the moment. We do have that if we're wanting to go down that road. What I'm looking at, it looks more a draw, or have I just given them the advantage? If he does take, we take, and then his rook takes the bishop, rook, rook takes the knight. Hmm, yeah, that doesn't seem fair, does it? I think I've lost the pawn for no reason. Damn. Yeah, he's gone, he's gone. Is there some magic? A little bit of magic here. Let's give that a touch. Sacrifice for a better position. That can't be too bad, can it? That? Teamwork. I'm saying, trying to be confident. <laughs> uh. oh, definitely gone into the tank. I'm going to pause it. Also, they brought the heat. They've brought the knight back. I'm 
And you know, when your heart thumps, you're like thinking, hey, that's not too bad, I think we've won. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking, but he's got a passer. I'm not too sure now. So we take, we're on his rook, his pawn takes, bishop takes with a check on the king. King comes here attacking our lonely rook. Rook comes across attacking his rook. Rook takes, bishop takes. And this passer of his is going to be a bit annoying, isn't it? Is there no better way? Uh, could we go back to this rook? Still got the passer though, aren't he? Rook there, rook takes. Knight takes, knight is on the pawn. And his knight doesn't have to. His knight is on the pawn. Then his knight comes and protects it somehow, does it? Nope, nope. But he's still got his. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go for that. I, um, yeah, we don't really want this passer running off. So that means I've keeping his knight on the board and his bishop on the board. Fingers crossed we can get this without any hassle. It's gonna want to wait his wake his bishop up, but we I suppose we can take. Right, nice and steady, it's not a blitz match this one. This is the final. Looking more and more drawish. <laughs> uh, I would say our pawns are more elevated up the board, right? So I would give that a plus for us. So we'd need to fashion a way of attacking this pawn, which I don't think is going to be too much of a problem. Once we take here, then we can get our bishop here. But then I suppose his knight can protect. Oh, he's coming for our pawn. Let's take while we're thinking. So he's protecting the pawn here. So we can't go here and take what well, we could, but we'd lose out. And he can come down here for this pawn. there with the knight to get the bishop but the bishop is just going to do that isn't it so there's no problem oh it looks like they may have left the game oh well it's got plenty of time 50 seconds so that means if they, if they come back on they're coming back on with superpowers right okay <laughs> Uh, I'm full of them tricks. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, at this stage now, because he's got a bishop, he's probably feeling, right, okay, he's just going to stay there. If we took his knight off the board, his pawn takes, and realistically... It's looking pretty drawish to me. But I suppose I could bring the bring the bishop here, and if he goes there, then he's looking for a draw type thing. Then I'm going to have to start moving the king up and see if I can do something. Okay, so we're going to target the bishop first then. was lucky or there's some mad genius tactic going on that I can't see I 
So he has moved his king a little bit further. Does capture. I'm with my knight trapped or something. Can I not get this pawn? Does his knight protect that pawn? Oh, he can come here and protect that pawn. Attack the pawn. Giving space for pushing here. I don't think it'll get promoted though. Gonna push. Do believe we've got time to go back to attack the pawn. King comes down. Da -da 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 -da. I hope I'm not going to rule the day that I don't move my king across here. King's behind the pawn, he's gonna have to come back to stop it from getting promoted. Okay. I can leave this now because he has to go. If he comes behind and takes the pawn then this gets promoted. Phew! Pretty in oh yeah, pretty intense. That was a really good one to finish on. We've gone past the hour now. <laughs> Way past. I think that's like an hour and twenty minutes or something now. Good session, good session. We tried to put a mix of games in, a uh, blitz, three minutes, five minutes. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 25 minutes, 30. Okay, phone ringing, let's go. For the session, I know that's small compared to some streamers, but hey, it's been fun. It's um, nice to practice these different time scales, time frames, and working with the answer process, look, working with the concepts. Doesn't look like the opponent's going to make a move. I'm going to pause it for now. Oh, they've continued moving. All right, okay, let's push. Pushing. Keep pushing. Try to avoid any stalemate threats, but he's in the middle of the board, so he's got plenty of spaces to move. Keep pushing. Okay, I'm gonna go for a rook.
Okay. Thank you. I enjoyed this session. Look forward to some more in the future.